Tomorrow we've got uh, Haley's Comet and the Bone Crusher Stakes at LSE tomorrow and uh, we're, we're really looking forward to him running. He's, um, he's an exciting young horse. He's uh, come through his last couple of runs really well and they've been um, you know, very competitive performances. So um, tomorrow we're uh, on a bit of track. Um, will be interesting because he, he has got a tendency to like very wet ground so it'll be his first attempt on much better ground tomorrow. Haley's Comet in his last two runs, uh, have, he's just finished just behind the place getters and uh, uh, two starts back he finished fifth in the uh, Rider Stakes which was a really good run because he got, uh, he was up on the pace wide and working hard all the way and um, you know and he'd done well to fight on as, as well as he did and uh, in his last race in a strong Wanganui Guineas, uh, he settled back for the first time, we rode him back and uh, he fought the rider for the first quarter of the race and then they went at a very slow speed up front and sprinted home so it made it very hard for him being back in the field to actually make ground and uh, tomorrow we, uh, we may look to ride him a little closer to the, to the, uh, the leaders tomorrow. Tomorrow uh, with the dead track we'd probably like to see it a lot wetter. Um, as he's, he's really adept in wet ground and uh, with the, all the rain forecasted during the week which unfortunately hasn't arrived it's going to make it pretty tough for him but uh, you know from the outside one of the outside barriers of 12 it's also probably a little bit of a disadvantage with uh, in such a high quality field but um, hey we're going into the race uh, we'll be more than hopeful and confident but um, we know we've got a very fit healthy horse which um, I'm sure will, uh, will run well.